Today, we have something pretty darn cool to check out. I'm pretty excited to get this bike open. I'm exhausted today because I got home at 1.30 a.m. this morning from Puerto Rico, where we shot episode three of the Local Loan series. My name is Jeff Kendallweed. This is my YouTube channel. And in a nutshell, this channel is all about growing the sport of mountain biking. In between that local loam series, I like to do a few tech videos like this one here. So I am sponsored by Jensen USA and I'm sponsored by Ida Cycles. Without further ado, I think we should open this box up and check out this new Ripley. Let's do it. The moment of truth. Let's get first looks at this new Ripley. Oh, nice! I'll have to show you guys this. So here we go, first look at the new Ripley. And check out this box too, this is pretty professional. New bike day, what? These bikes ship like this from Jensen USA with the foam and everything holding it in place and the bike's essentially assembled. It's just put the front wheel on, maybe your pedals and that's it, pretty easy. Oh yeah, Ripley, I like it. Let's pull this all out. All right. There, oh, sweet. First immediate thought, it looks like a mini Ripmo. Let's get a few shots of the sweet new bike. Ripley. As I get more into the details of the bike, I see a lot of crossover from the Ripmo. I'm seeing that what I think is a bushing on the lower linkage. I see what looks like a DU bushing and reducer on the shaft side of the rear shock. I see what looks like internal routing for the rear brake hose as well as for the shifter. The way the clevis attaches to the swing arm is also very similar to the Ripmo. This looks like a stock XTR kit. I'm not sure exactly what the spec is on this versus the finished bike. The Industry 9 hubs on XTR 180 front and 180 rear rotors. Nice. But Ibis asked me to not put my sponsored parts on here and not build it up how I would build up my personal bike. I have to send this thing back to Ibis in a few days so they have enough bikes for their dealer launch. I'm pretty excited to get this thing on the trail. I've got a little road trip planned. The sunglasses are definitely a bit optimistic today. <laughs> Trail hunting. There's the sound of gunfire here in beautiful Capital State Forest.
Right now we're on a ferry heading back towards Seattle from the peninsula. Just rode the new Ibis Ripley on some new to me trails over there. It was sweet. Uh, I had a good time riding the bike and I definitely learned a thing or two about it. It surprised me in a couple of different ways. The way this bike feels on the trail, it's very different than my other bike. So it's got that nice steep seat tube angle, has you seated feeling pretty far forwards on the front wheel on the climbs, which is nice uphill. Now, when you're going downhill, it's got a very lively feel to it. The bottom bracket height was a tad higher feeling than the older model. And on the trail, that translates into a bike that responds really well to pumping motion. So pumping is when there's a bunch of rollers in a sequence on the trail and you can just generate downforce by pushing down. When you do that on this bike, it just zooms straight forwards and builds a ton of speed. So who is this bike for? To me, it seems like this is a really good bike for the average rider. The guy who's going out after work and doing blue, maybe some black level trails, but he's just as concerned about going up quickly as he is about having fun going down. The Ripley is a lightweight trail bike or even a cross country bike. This is not the bike for you if you're trying to send it as big as you can and find the biggest jumps that you can really get your two wheels in the air on. That's, that's more the Ripmo's territory or the HD4. This thing is a smaller, lighter, more just flickable bike than that. I had a great time riding the Ripley and I've got a link in the YouTube description below over to the Ripley listing over at Jensen. Jensen USA is a great sponsor of mine. Ibis is also a really good sponsor of mine too. And if you're looking for a good all around lightweight trail bike, definitely consider the Ripley. The Ripley I rode for this video is bone stock. Ibis asked me to not change anything from this setup. If this was my personal bike, I would definitely change a few things. I'm sponsored by a whole bunch of guys and I really like all their parts. First up, I'd probably put the Trust Message fork on here. That fork would be a perfect fit for this bike with a steeper head angle. It would feel so good on here. The bike comes stock with a Schwalbe Hansdomp front, knobby neck rear. For a lot of people, that's gonna be a really good combination. When the bike's being ridden more upright with the handlebars being turned more, they hook up pretty well. That said, I really, really like my WTB tires. I'd probably put a Vigilante 2.5 up front with a Judge 2.4 in back, and I would definitely go for the tough casings. Stock, this thing uses the Race Face Next SL cranks, which are super light. I'm a big fan of the Shimano XT cranks, personally. They're so strong, and I can always use a chain guide, too. While the bike has ISCG tabs, I really prefer to have a chain guide on my bike all the time. The bike comes stock with a bike yoke seat post. It's, I think it's a 160 drop, and I've heard great things about these, but I wouldn't have minded having even more drop, and I really like my PNW Components Bachelor 170 seat post. Those things are so rad. The bike does come with a WTB Silverado saddle. That's what I use on my personal bike. I'd highly recommend it. And the handlebars, I prefer to use my PNW Components range bars. They're aluminum and a little bit less sweep. Personal preference there, the Ibis stuff is really good as well. I don't often get to ride lightweight trail bikes like the Ripley here, so it's really fun putting this video together. If you guys like this tech video, click that subscribe button. I put these out at least once a week or so. And my channel, I'm all about the local loam series, so stay tuned. I've got a great episode coming up soon. I think we should uh, get back to the rig. <laughs> Before we, are we still rolling? Before we know it, we're gonna be pulling up at the dock, so let's get back in the van. I don't know if I'll even work with the audio being so like, yeah.